Well, anyway, enough of that. So, when me or my friends are not at this volcano taking a bath, feel free to take a bath if you want. Huh. So far, I stuck his hand in the lava. He didn't felt a thing. It was just like putting his hand in hot water. Except he can't really feel the burning. Hmm. He can't really feel, well, like, the burning desire to put his hand out, well, to yank his hand out of the water and cool it off. It just felt warm. To him, it felt right. He felt so calm. Well, anyways, if you follow me, I'll continue showing you around. And we will... I will have to get back onto my daily routines. Uh, being Queen of Monsters is a pain in the, the spine, isn't it? You have no idea. After God's Luck gave some fireworks the rest of the tour, Sir Farmers was all alone. He wasn't completely alone when his friends arrived. So how was it tour? It was fine. <sighs> oh my god, being a kaiju is the best! I know, right? So it's Rupert Burning Godzilla, Dark Dragon, Karen's at 3. And Hannah, how have you guys been doing on your flying lessons? Oh, it feels awesome. When I first tried it, I fell down. I fell onto the ground and landed on my face. You poor Rodan. You poor fire chicken. Seriously, Zilla Thompson, are you calling me a fire chicken? Well, might as well, because you kind of more look like the Monsterverse, Rodan. So Bernard Godzel took a look at himself, and he realized that Zilla Thompson was right. He sort of did look like the Monsterverse, Rodan, but just in a human body. And 500 times bigger. Oh, yeah, you're right. What about you, Zilla Tausen? Eh, Zilla Jr. showed me around and taught me how to swim well. And honestly, I could swim pretty fast. I could swim faster than you and Sewer Godzilla Earth and Elsa combined. <laughs> yep. I expected that because you're a bit more agile and a bit more intelligent. What about you, Karen Tet 3? You mean Dark Dragon? Mothra taught us how to fly really well. Yeah, I never thought I could just taste the air for once. Properly. It's like. Like, if you guys are, like, bored and, like, staring out to the clouds, I'll just. Me and Dark Dragon handle. No. We'll just be sitting back, watching the sun up above the clouds. Sir Flowers glared at, at the three. He then charged up his tonic breath and ended up flying himself. You... How... Godzilla taught me it! Sir Fire was landed down, landed on the ground. Luckily, he was managed to land on his feet. When did you become a cat? I did it. Godzilla did it before as well. You idiot. Besides that... Um, did you guys know that Godzilla had a daughter? Has a daughter? Wait, what? She has a daughter? Yeah, she has a daughter. Oh, that means... No, 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 no. Her husband is dead. Wait, he's dead? Yeah, he was a bad king, a terrible husband, and a very, very bad father. And it was Dagon, surprisingly. The trio couldn't help to be, to be shocked. Dagon? Being a bad king? They thought he was supposed to be a fair and nice king. What the rumors told them. What the rumors were told. But now, their hero turns out to be a, a really bad king. A terrible husband. A very, very bad father.
Well, um, so what are you do planning on doing? I'm planning on helping Godzilla to raise her daughter, daughter and hopefully confess my feelings to her one day when the time comes. I hope you get your chance for Final Wars. I hope you get your chance. Yeah. Me too. So, Sir Final Wars, how do you think that our boss, you know, the G-Force commander is going to react to this? She might be wondering where the frick are we and why we're not responding to her calls. And figuring out or trying to figure out where the frick are we. So basically, she might be on the search for us already. And Super Farmers was correct. The G Force commander was furious and looking for Super Farmers and the others. I'm trying to figure out why they haven't responded to their calls. But besides of that, Super Farmers. And the others were completely safe. The only thing that posed a threat to them is Queen Ghidorah. She was the only real concern and a real threat. So, Sir Flowers, what are we going to do about Queen Ghidorah? I mean, she. She's basically Godzilla's arch rival within a way. And she might have a huge army. Well, we're gonna help Godzilla to defend this Earth. After all, the military weapons don't do jack crap to the monsters. So we might as well help them out. Oh, and uh, Super Mega Godzilla Earth, you gotta program. Or at least reprogram Sir Mechagodzilla Earth's system so that way he'll be hard, hard to take control from the from the military and from Queen Ghidorah. You got it, boss. I'll make sure I'll do that right away. It's nice. Plus, it'll be nice to have the Earth Defenders get some backup. Besides, remember what happened last time when Godzilla? On the other monsters faced off against Queen Ghidorah? Godzilla almost died. It was around two years ago was when a, a battle happened on Monster Island. Queen Ghidorah and her army arrived on Monster Island and picked a fight with Godzilla. Queen Ghidorah acted, well, act, made a very big mistake and that was hurting Godzilla's daughter. Godzilla was enraged about this. She attacks Queen Ghidorah and they battle. Well, the very earth shook. Like I say, battled. Only leaving God's is severely hurt. And extremely exhausted. Yeah, so far was just right. We gotta. We gotta help Godzilla about that situation. We gotta help her take Queen Ghidorah down. As far as we, con we are concerned, Queen Ghidorah is not just a threat to us, but to mankind as well. And even though we used to be humans, but we gotta think, our human families could be in danger as well. Exactly, Super Bird and Godzilla. That's why we need to take her down. We need to take Queen Ghidorah down. But the only problem is, how do we take her down? She's pretty tough. Well, have you watched How to Train a Dragon through Final Wars? What do you mean, Cannon said 3? Think, oh, think about it. She's kind of a dragon. But she's basically a dragon. And what's a dragon's vulnerable weak spot? Her wings. Exactly. So, through Final Wars, next time you see Godzilla, tell her to aim for the wing. When she's charging up her atomic breath. Because that... Because with... Because if Queen Ghidorah is down on the ground, she's basically in Godzilla's domain. She may not be a very fast fighter when it comes on land, but she can give Queen Ghidorah a re probably many reasons to leave this planet alone. If that doesn't work, then she'll just possibly drag her underwater. 
You're, you are freaking correct here in Tet 3. I'm surprised Council didn't figure that out. Yeah, think about it. If she basically shot down Mothra with her tonic breath, and she aimed for the ring. You know what? I'm going to talk to her about that. While Sir Flowers was looking, it didn't take him long to find Godzilla. She was showing her daughter how to fight more than one monster again. Godzilla wanted her daughter to be repaired. So Sir Flowers sat down right next to Junior. Hey, kid. Oh, hey, Mr. Super Final Wars. Just call me Super Final Wars. You don't need to call me Mr. So, Mom's teaching how to fight more than one monster again? Again? How did you figure that out? Oh, well, when I was human, I kind of spotted her fighting getting in gear as Queen Caesar and Rodan. She's absolutely destroying them. Oh, yeah, I forgot you, were, you, you used to be human. Mm-hmm. It didn't took long for Godzilla to be done on fighting her friends. It was nothing personal. Plus, she wanted her daughter to see how she can fight by more than one monster. Later that day, Superfire was, was talking to her about how she should aim at the wing of Queen Ghidorah. You are... Oh my god, that is so much more easier. Why didn't I thought about that? Yeah, just aim for the wing. But even if I did, she's quite tough when it comes to close combat. Well, Sir Flowers looked at the ocean and pointed at the sea. Well, that's your domain. Godzilla looked and saw the ocean. Oh yeah, you're right, that is my domain. So, why not just drag her in the ocean? Show, show her what you're really made of. What would you do? You know, if you were me. Simple. I'll aim for the wing first. Catch her while she's off guard. Fire my top breath at her wing. Drag her in the ocean. And then basically beat the living crap out of her. Or if I were you. Good point. Say, do you have an arch rival? Oh yeah, I do. Two, actually. Two arch rivals? Oh my god, I'm jealous. <laughs> well, their names are David and Lucas. They don't work with any military. They made their own group. David and Lucas and I have been at... We have basically been rivals ever since we were kids. When we first met at kindergarten, we've just been rivals ever since. You we went to the same school? Hey, I was... Forced to go to the same school as those two idiots. Luckily enough, I had Zillatos and Akiran Zat 3 to back me up. After all, three heads are better than two. That's true. Plus, within the way, it's like six arms against four arms. Good. That is a really, really good point. So, hey, I'm gonna go destroy a city real quick. Do you, do you mind keeping an eye on my daughter? Yeah, sure. You go on ahead. Okay, I'll, ke I'll keep an eye on her. Thank you. I owe you one. You don't owe me anything. Yet.